Hi everyone! Today I'll present a simple and efficient distributed algorithm for graph coloring. Or more precisely, an algorithm that you can use as a subroutine when designing fast graph coloring algorithms. Let Q be any prime number. The only requirement is that Q is more than two times the maximum degree of the graph. We will show how to reduce the number of colors from Q squared to Q in only Q rounds. So, for example, if Q is 7, we can reduce the number of colors from 49 to 7 in only 7 rounds. I'll use Q equals 7 to illustrate the idea. Our input colors are pairs A, B, where both A and B are numbers between 0 and 6. So we can handle 7 times 7 possible input colors. And our output colors are pairs of the form 0, B. So there are only 7 possible output colors when we are done. Color reduction from 49 to 7. It's best to visualize nodes as clocks with one hand. Value A, B means that the hand is moving at speed A and it is currently in position B. So in each step we change A, B to A, B plus A modulo 7. And the algorithm is really simple. You stop the clock when you can do it in a conflict-free manner. You just switch from A, B to 0, B whenever this is safe, when no neighbor is in position B. And that's it. So our possible input colors are these 49 configurations, 7 speeds, 7 positions. And when the nodes are running, their colors change like this. Clocks are ticking, hands are moving at constant speed. And neighbors have, by assumption, different input colors, so they will start in different configurations. Either they start in different positions, or move at different speeds, or both. And our final configurations are these seven possibilities. Clocks are stopped, hands are in one of seven possible positions. And this is what we are trying to achieve, a proper coloring where all clocks are stopped. Let's see how the algorithm works in practice. Here is a complete graph with four nodes. Our input configuration might look, for example, like this. First round, check for conflicts. The top two nodes have their hands in the same positions, but the bottom nodes don't have any conflicts. Bottom nodes can stop. They set their speed to zero. They are done. Nodes that are still running move to the next position. Second round, check for conflicts. Bad luck, both of the running nodes are still in conflict with someone, this time with the nodes that are already stopped. No progress, advance to the next position. Third round, check for conflicts, no conflicts left, both of the nodes can stop. We're done. We've got a new coloring from a color palette of only seven colors. Let's look at another example. We start like this check for conflicts. Everyone has got conflicts. Everyone moves their hands. Check for conflicts. Two nodes on the right conflict with each other, but the nodes on the left can stop. Move hands. Check for conflicts. Still bad. Move hands. Check for conflicts. Still bad for the top right node. But the bottom right node can stop. Move hands. Check for conflicts. Now we are finally done. Good, you get the algorithm. But does it work correctly? In the previous example, it already took a while. Could it be the case that we just keep getting conflicts forever? Let's think about this. Let's look at the node and one of its neighbors. Let's first assume that both of the nodes are running. As these are neighbors, their starting positions or speeds must differ. Now, no matter what are the speeds of these nodes, in seven rounds their hands are aligned at most once. If they have different speeds, their hands are aligned exactly once, 
if they run at the same speed, their hands will be never aligned. So if you and your neighbor are both running in seven rounds, you'll have conflicts with this neighbor at most once. But what if your neighbor has stopped? Well, the same thing. In seven rounds, you'll have conflicts with it only once. So in seven rounds, you'll have conflicts with any specific neighbor at most twice. Even if it happens to stop in the middle, you'll get conflicts at most once while your neighbor is running and at most once when it's stopped. And for example, here each node had three neighbors. So let's think about this from the perspective of any given node. In seven rounds, you'll have conflicts with each of your neighbors at most twice. So there can be at most six rounds in which you have conflicts with someone. In seven rounds, you'll find at least one round that is completely conflict-free, and then we're done and we can stop. That's the whole algorithm. Pick any prime number q that is more than two times the maximum number of neighbors. And in q rounds, you can turn a coloring with q squared colors into a coloring with only q colors. And if you combine this with the other building blocks that we have in this week's course material, we will get an algorithm that finds a coloring with delta plus one colors in any graph of maximum degree delta, and the running time is order of log star n plus delta.